Hello out there in TV land, and welcome to another edition of Visual Radio. We are honored to have James Montgomery here. James. Uh, I'm honored to be here, and as a matter of fact, my views do, in fact, reflect the views of WCAT. And wait for, no, I'm just kidding. It's only a joke. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm proud to be here with you. You and I go back a long way, and uh, you're one of the best in the business, so thanks oh, thank for having you. me on. Bless you, young man. Appreciate it. Uh, our last adventure was at the Kowloon. You opened for Mitch Ryder? Oh, yeah. Or Mitch Ryder opened for you, I don't remember. But. Well, no, I, I opened for Mitch. Uh, you know, I go back with Mitch a long way because I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and uh, I knew Mitch back then, and uh, I got two funny stories about him, uh, one of which I probably shouldn't tell, but... But, tell, tell, but tell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he, was at, he was at one of one of our family Christmas parties and doing something on a table that my mother had no idea what it was. I'll just leave it at that. But anyway, um, so there was one time when they, they flew me out to open up for Mitch Ryder at, a, at like um, an auto show. And in Detroit, it's like rock and roll and automobiles go together. So they said, we, we, we can only afford you, so put a band together. So Jimmy McCarty, who was the lead guitar player for the Detroit Wheels, was actually a member of the James Montgomery Band and lived in the band house out in Hingham. So I called up Jimmy McCarty, and he got Johnny Bedanjic and, and Billy Frega. So I opened up for Mitch Ryder, and I had all the original Detroit Wheels in my band, and Mitch didn't have any Detroit Wheels in his band, so it was kind of a, 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 an interesting thing. And, and, and there was bad blood between them at the time, right? Oh. And so McCarty and Bedanjic are getting ready to go on stage. Man, we're going to blow this guy away. We're going to blow him away. And I said, boy, I guess I made the right decision.